What's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer, bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. Today, we'll take a quick peek over here at the Bitcoin price chart as we get set to start a new week. But the primary focus of this video is actually going to be over here on the altcoin market, as we have now been stuck in a range for about two months. And we see this no matter what market cap we look at, whether it's total two, like we just looked at here on total three or over here on others, it's just been stuck in this range. As many of you know, who have followed the channel, we've been studying Wyckoff accumulation for the last year and a half as we've been down at the lows. Prices have been following along precisely in a standard accumulation schematic. And now this has the strong appearances of sign of strength working on top of preliminary support, ranging preparing for the next leg up. After rallying all the way from October into late December, sentiment has definitely taken a little bit of a shift here, especially since we've gotten past the Bitcoin ETF launches, which were now almost a month ago. And the market's been pretty stale since then. Meanwhile, we've watched the United States stock market continue to march up, like the Dow Jones, the NASDAQ. Last week, they both got within 1% of their 4.236 extensions, even with the NASDAQ being measured from the starting point of 2000, which is the dot com bubble pop and the Dow Jones, which is at the beginning of the great financial crisis back in 2007, both of them getting within 1%. Price is stale. Nothing's happened since the ETF launch. Well, people get a little bored, a little frustrated, and that's just typically how things end up going. But still, we have all the appearances here of what ends up happening before another bigger leg ends up appearing here in the market. And I wanted to actually give you an example of that on a chart that looked practically identical. So we'll take this Wyckoff accumulation schematic that we have going on over here in the crypto market. We'll apply it over here and show how similar this once was. Conceptually, the same thing, right? What do we have? We have our selling climax happening in here. Here's preliminary support, selling climax, secondary test in phase B. Then last point of support, the big boring one, just as we had over here throughout the altcoin market before whoop, shooting its way up, finding supports, shooting its way up, finding supports, shooting its way up, finding supports. That's precisely what we had going on over here on this particular chart that I have on the screen. And this just so happens to be gold. But pay attention to where it ends up pulling over here, right? We get over here, take a look over here at others, same area. This is where we work our way up to. Then we bounce around on top, just as we have over here on others. But what ends up happening over here for gold after working through the accumulation schematic, going through the sign of strength phase on top of the preliminary support, I'll go ahead and hit play and we can watch how this all plays out together. Boom. Boom. And off and away we end up going into new. You can do it. You can do it. Into new highs. There it ends up going. But just like we're experiencing over there in the crypto market, after we ended up getting that breakout to happen in there, we had to pause out here for a little while before things eventually went for their bigger break to happen to the upside. And we talk a lot about the stock market and where these indexes are because we're pretty much in the period where euphoria can just happen throughout all markets. Irrational exuberance, extreme risk taking, no worries, we're never going down. And I thought it was important to give an example of exactly how these things can play out. And that conceptually, that's what we would be doing over here throughout the altcoin market right now, waiting for that type of move to come next into the cryptocurrency market during a period of irrational exuberance, extreme risk taking, we're never coming down. But we talk about it in that manner because these periods can come very quickly, as you can see over here in gold. But then before you know it, it's over and that's the end of it. And then you're stuck for a very long time, but it comes very quickly. You know, just looking at the whole period in here, you know, you spend all the this time down in here, you finally get your little breakout and then boom, it's only that long. And then suddenly it's all over again and you're back into one of those really long periods all over again. And I just know how this market acts. I know how excitement happens in this market and that we forget all about that. <laughs> and like, especially like even in this type of example, could you imagine it happening there in the cryptocurrency market? Like we actually end up getting others to go poke into a new all-time high or total three to actually poke into an all-time high or like right here, I've taken total two. I've removed all of the 
stable coins from in here? What if we saw that thing go and set a new all-time high? What would be the state of the market and the sentiment of the market in that type of situation? It would be, we're never coming down. We're all, we're going, we're taken off. The bears are wrecked. It's game over. But on the channel, we're always trying to kind of like tie this stuff in here to kind of think about it from a ma the manner of like, well, wait, this is kind of the period where irrational exuberance can happen. This is a period where extreme excitement can happen in the market. We have all those elements lined up to exit a moment like this and go into a moment like that due to the irrational exuberance and the excitement throughout the entire market. But having to keep in mind that it may just be temporary and that after that, comes it comes a lot of chop right and on this channel i talk about it always trying to be like two steps ahead right and like trying to think from what the future has in store for us we're, we're talking about rate cuts happening in the next couple of months the market and participants all think rate cuts are, are what we need to send this market into euphoria but history proves that that's actually the beginning of that, that's how the great financial crisis started that's how covid happened we started with rate cuts and then the the, the whole world fell apart not that we started with rate cuts and then everything just went into a massive bull run but as we said, in a very familiar situation that we're in right now throughout the market, this is very typical, normal behavior of what happens before extreme excitement enters the market. And then you have to ask yourself, well, do we have conditions elsewhere in other markets to say, we could be irrational, we could be exuberant, we could do something crazy and shoot in a straight line up. And you just look to the stock market and you say, there's the elements, right? But for it to be important to remember, we can get something exciting and then things can cool off for a long time after that. And I totally get it. It would be much better for me as a YouTuber to come on here and just say, epic rally inbound, the ultimate gains. And I mean, really, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's what this is saying. But at the same time, it's like you, you how many times have you gone into moments like that and then you just like YOLO'd the top, right? Or you just sold the lows, market rallies, and then you're suddenly buying, uh, you're buying high again, right? Thinking it's going to go to the moon because you already know, like you've been in this long enough. You already know when prices get high, everybody around you is going to be screaming. It's going to keep going higher. When the top comes in, it's guaranteed, guaranteed. The collective group of people are not going to be sitting there screaming, this is the top. It's just never, ever, ever what they do. They're always irrationally exuberant at the top. The, the content is YOLO. The, the tweets are YOLO. The sentiment is YOLO. The I'm quitting my job and going full-time crypto. That is what always happens when we're going straight lined up. And what we'll see is a bunch of people pile into the market and they come in and then they buy it there, right? Kind of like Bitcoin, right? Fear, fear, 12K, 20K, we're going down, we're going down, we're going down. Boom, we're never going down ever again, right? Everybody YOLO buy, <laughs> right? And so I, I try to present it in the manner of being like, hey, we've got the setups to go for something pretty exciting to happen in the market. We've seen these types of setups happen before. We know how they end up playing out when we pull out of these Wyckoff accumulations. But it's just like I write my newsletters, just like I've said in videos and in live streams. It's kind of like 2024 is like this mixed year. It's like this year that has these li these things lined up for it to be like an exciting year. But then to kind of remember, like, there's likely this big pivotal change that happens at some point throughout this year. And if you could see me, I'm using like my hands and I'm like <laughs> going like this, <laughs> right? Like, I'm like, we're here, right? And like thinking of it like that in 2024. And that this point happens at some point in 2024 along with that. And I don't think that we're right there right now. I think we are more so right like that right now. And if we get a moment like this and we get back into retracement levels, and here we get into new all time highs in here, right? This is places where I'm gonna be just be taking stuff off the table, whereas most of the market participants will be YOLOing in buying excitement. Uh, this is where I'm taking stuff off the table. Why? Because I was YOLOing in buying down in here, right? While market participants were screaming, no, 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 while we climbed the wall of worry. And so I come here with hope and optimism and excitement showing you how these things play out in here and how we're set up right now in the cryptocurrency market. But I also come with that look forward beyond just saying epic rally inbound of saying, hey, look, I think it, I think epic rally is inbound, but I'm already looking past that and like I'm convicted on that enough to say, OK, I think that's what's next. I think emotions are going to get really excited and I know 
that when we get really excited, the voices get really loud. They get just as loud as they do at the bottom. We are all hooting and hollering on Twitter. Everybody's holding hands. Everybody's singing Kumbaya. Everybody's screaming, we're never going down. We're all going to make it. Laser eyes, diamond hands. We're going to the moon. And then they don't realize we're already on the moon sometimes. <laughs> And it's going to be that big challenge of figuring out where does that moon reside, right? Does it reside in the retracement levels? Does it reside slightly into new all-time highs before things eventually cool off? And if this thing is going to give us some kind of reaction up at these levels and then things kind of turn over here and kind of being prepared for that moment to come. But we know we're in the irrational exuberant levels where things can act irrational and crazy and exciting and that that our current setup right now is very similar to what happens in those moments before those big irrational moments come into markets, right? And so I wanted to show you this example while I know we've been stuck here for a little while. There hasn't been very many videos lately because there just isn't much to say when you're stuck in a little range like this waiting for something to end up coming out. And the last thing I'm really feeling like doing is just beating you down with a bunch of the same old, same old. But eventually I do think we'll get our way out of there as we do see happen in these types of setups. And the next phase of content is going to be kind of like battling and continuing to maintain that level head through all of the excitement going on all around us. But otherwise, you can clearly see it with your own eyes. Look where we are. Look what we're doing. This is typical behavior before something exciting comes into the market. And we definitely have the elements out there in the markets right now to support that happening now. So buckle up. Just waiting for things to get going. And then we'll enter our next phase of putting money in our pockets. But all right, that's going to be it for this one. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope that gave you a different kind of perspective on where we're at right now with the cryptocurrency market. As always, I'm here every day in markets in the morning throughout the week. Once we get a couple of changes to show up there in the market, we'll get videos going again. Otherwise, if you're looking for something to do, you could check out bcbacker.com over here. This is a course I put together with over 40 videos and over 11 hours of content in here, teaching you how to set up your own charts and your own indicators within TradingView and CoinTrader Pro. I've got stuff in there on Wyckoff accumulation and Wyckoff distribution, along with Elliott Wave Theory and the historical behavior of the cryptocurrency market. So you can understand the dynamics of how these altcoins and Bitcoin behave together along with a lot of additional things that I've learned over the years after being in this market for nearly seven years. There are also downloadable PDFs in here that you can print out or save on your hard drive, but all 40 videos, all 11 hours of content available over here for you on bcbacker.com. It's 39 bucks one time, no subscription or recurring fees. $39, it's yours right here on bcbacker.com. I do also write a newsletter over here on Substack at blockchainbacker.substack.com. The most recent one that I put out last week was really focusing on user activity levels to see how those particular assets have been behaving in the last several months. We can once again see it, that higher activity level coins have performed better than the top 20 by market cap. As you know, we've been focusing a lot on development activity, percentage drawdowns, circulating supply inflation. There's a whole series over here that you can read on that as well. Or if you prefer, listen to. I do audio record all of these. But the most recent one was really focused over there on actual activity levels with total value locked and NFT activity to see how those particular asset groups are doing. There are links to both bcbacker.com and my substack, blockchainbacker.substack.com in the description of each of my videos and live streams. Otherwise, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I want to thank you so much for watching my channel and watching my videos. Videos. If you could, please like this video and give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor, but if you ever need a pick-me-up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.